Hey everybody, um, today is day five on the trainer's truck and I'm going to start off with a little public service announcement. When you are behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, it does not matter what kind of vehicle it is. You are, it is your job to operate that vehicle safely. It is your job to manage the space around you. It is your job to pay attention to what you are doing. And especially if you are in a commercial vehicle. Uh, today on the Ohio Turnpike, um, around mile marker 76, headed westbound. At the bare minimum, one, <clears throat> one trucker lost his job, probably two. Um, there was an accident involving an empty car hauler and a loaded uh, dry van. Uh, regular box fan <clears throat> um, <clears throat> that empty car hauler had passed me about 10 minutes prior to being in that accident um, doing at least 80 in and in, in coming out of a construction zone um, I don't know how fast he had gotten up but he was rolling coal as he passed me so uh, I was doing 68 in the 70 and he rolls rolling coal his truck had to be you know he had to be extracted from his truck I don't know um, I don't know his condition I don't know if he lived through it I don't know if he if he died uh, but what I do certainly know is that um, he's at the bare minimum losing his job quite possibly going to prison for causing an accident uh, with injuries uh, due to basically reckless driving it's one thing to drive like a fool in a four-wheeler You don't drive like a fool when you got a freaking truck okay there's no reason for that we are professionals we are trained we go through training there is no need for that no load no amount of miles no amount of money is worth that complete level of total disregard for somebody else's safety you know, you're acting on a fool in a four-wheeler, most likely you're only going to kill yourself. When you got 80,000 pounds, you're killing somebody else. You're, you're, you're walking away and you're killing somebody else. So, especially if you're in a truck, it, you, safety is your job. Traffic management is your job. Your bubble around your vehicle is your job. When you're in a four-wheeler, safety is your job. Managing traffic is your job. Managing your space is your job. Put the phone down, stop talking, and drive. Okay, the conversation can wait. The text message can wait and you know when you've got a vehicle that requires almost two seconds from the time you press the brakes until the vehicle actually starts slowing down you shouldn't be going faster than everybody else you know there's this uproar um, that I'm seeing about the FMCSA potentially trying to govern big trucks and 
I kind of agree with it. I think they're doing it too low. 70 is okay. 75 is okay. We don't need to be going faster than 75. Um, that's just that's just too much vehicle. There's too much stupid out there. There's too many people. There's too much traffic. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm finding the more that I'm driving, the more that I'm driving, um, you know, and I've got five days behind the wheel. I've got, you know, in that five days, I've got 2,000 miles. Okay. Uh, so take that information for what it's worth. But in the 26 years previous to that, I have over, I have almost 2 million miles behind the wheel of a four wheeler, uh, accident free. And yeah, I've gotten speeding tickets. Yeah, I've gotten a reckless ops ticket. You know, yeah, I ditched one, uh, but I drove away from it. Um, black ice happens. I also have you know, advanced training in operating a passenger car, um, you know, with racing and stuff like that. And I enjoy driving. So I, you know, increase my skills and my traffic management and whatnot. And a lot of my tickets and speeding tickets come from managing traffic around me because in a four wheeler, if you're driving kind of stupid, in a controlled way that is managing your space because people will notice you, acknowledge you, and back off of you. Um, can't do that in a big rig, but there's, you know, you've, there's other ways of doing it in a big rig um, other than hooning around. So be fucking careful out there. Pay attention. It's not that difficult to do it. Okay. Throw on some damn tunes. Look up. Look out. Put the phone down. Shut your mouth. Ignore everything else that's going on in the vehicle. The phone call can wait. You're not that damn important. If you're that damn important, you should have somebody driving you. Okay. Okay. Now that that's done, on to um, the kind of, you know, the the blog vlog uh, thing for the day. It's not a whole lot. Um, I may be a little extra grumpy today because I was woken up at one o'clock in the morning last night um, by the fire alarms in the hotel. Because uh, the, the guy man in the desk, he was making cookies in the kitchen and uh, he got busy with another customer forgot about the cookies and then like a half hour later was like oh fuck cookies ran in the kitchen opened the oven smoke billowed out and it set off the fire alarms thankfully it didn't set off the sprinklers uh just to set off the fire alarms um but so that that woke me up and it took me about till almost four o'clock to go back to sleep and I had to be up at five um preferably up at 4 30 but um you know I I ended up I ended up snoozing the five o'clock uh twice so it was more like 5 20 when I got up so there was no uh there was no exercising this morning uh no stretching no nothing um been trying to stretch uh um get my get get some of my flexibility back um so it's a work in progress uh so tonight uh you know i've eaten dinner um i was going to go to walmart uh since it is uh payday but it is like 96 degrees outside it's a two mile walk each way i'm not going to walmart while the sun's up um I I will either do it, I'll probably do it tomorrow after work, um, or Sunday morning, one of the two, um, cause I'm just not, I just can't even, um, 
cannot even deal with that kind of heat. It's, I've got my AC set to 66 in the room and it's just, it's not keeping up. So I'm doing laundry um, in a very small washing machine. I'm used to a much higher capacity modern washing machine. This one looks like it's about as old as I am. Um, but you know, it's a buck and a quarter for the wash. I don't know how much it's going to be for the dry. I think probably about a buck and a quarter. Um, so thankfully I have $5 and quarters, but still, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do all of it. Um, cause it's two loads and I don't feel like doing two loads tonight. Um, besides that, uh, that's about all I got, you know, pay attention when you're on the road. Uh, it's, it's not, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta finish some of the other stuff, um, that I wasn't able to do yesterday because I didn't have all the money that I needed, but I have all of that money today, uh, and it's in progress. So I gotta do my, uh, my schedule for tomorrow, um, and then watch the boys and, uh, go to bed, uh, cause I'm tired. Um, so good night, pay attention and keep the shiny side up.